a rapid... In a sit-down with politician-turned-broadcaster Nigel Farage, Donald Trump wasn't holding back. None of these things would be happening. Australia's US ambassador in the firing line. I heard he was a little bit nasty. Uh, I hear he's not the brightest bulb, uh, but I don't know much about him. The insult came after Mr. Trump was told that Kevin Rudd had described him as the most destructive president in history and a traitor to the West. That's not all the former prime minister has had to say in the past. Are Americans happy with Trump being in power? <laughs> Mr. Rudd's previously defended his criticisms, arguing they were made in his capacity as an independent think tanker. I haven't done them uh, as uh, the Australian ambassador to the United States. And frankly, in this country as independent think tanker, people expect you to exercise a wide latitude of engagement in the public policy debate. But Donald Trump appears to disagree, implying if he wins the US election in November, Mr Rudd's days as ambassador could be numbered. If he's at all hostile, he will not be there long. I think this is a problem for the government. They mismanaged this and Kevin Rudd should have known better. It would be an extraordinary step for any US president to oust an Australian ambassador. But Donald Trump signalling with these comments that if re-elected, he could make things difficult for Kevin Rudd. But Australia's foreign minister defended Mr Rudd and said he isn't going anywhere. He is you know, a former prime minister, a former foreign minister. Uh, his experience and skills mean he will be able to work closely with whomever is elected by the Australian, by the American people. As he left work today, the ambassador made no comment. Barbara Miller, ABC News, Washington.